navigating the world of MS recovery and remyelination can often feel like traversing a complex maze filled with contradictory research and conflicting viewpoints. As someone who has dedicated considerable time to this, I frequently encounter studies that either support or undermine each other. <laughs> Despite this ongoing confusion, well, my primary focus has always remained on the potential avenues for remyelination. Hey, it's Steve. In my quest to remain updated on the latest advancements and emerging therapies for MS, I initially stumbled upon a wide array of information that, while intriguing, often misled me. One of these memorable instances was my enthusiastic promotion of lion mane's mushrooms, a natural supplement known for its neuroprotective properties. Well, I posted a video on my channel on December 3rd, 2021, discussing its potential benefits for remyelination, which, to my surprise, to this day, still garners significant views and sparks discussions among viewers eager to learn more about this promising option. I was happy to do it until I discovered clomastine. Moving up on my most important supplement or medications to take for recovery and remyelination. Well, in doing that, I learned about the M1 muscarinic receptor. My learning journey in this revealed that the activation of the receptor could inhibit the remyelination process, leading to devastating consequences for individuals affected by MS and their hopes for remyelination. The revelation prompted me to share my newfound knowledge with my audience, you guys, advising you to consider taking clomastine, believing, believed to deactivate the M1 muscarinic receptor to enhance their remyelination efforts. However, as I dove deeper into the research, I encountered a perplexing development. I discovered that lion's mane mushroom extract actually activates the M1 muscarinic receptor. In light of this information, I made the difficult decision to tell you guys to discontinue your use of lion's mane prioritizing what I believe to be a better course of action. <laughs> now, however, I find myself confronted with yet another twist in this narrative. I've read recent studies that suggest a different perspective on lion mane mushroom, indicating that they may actually play a supportive role in promoting remyelination. Oh, it's crazy. It's like back then, I got a resounding yes for my research. But now, all I get is the research results do not directly answer whether lion's mane specifically activates the M1 muscarinic receptor. So which is it, guys? <laughs> This evolving body of answers has reignited my interest in lion mane mushroom, leading me to reconsider its role in my regimen. So, I returned to taking two pills, which is a thousand milligrams every morning, hoping to harness the potential benefits while remaining vigilant about remyelination. Feeling a resurgence of energy and a renewed sense of purpose, I'm inspired to create a new video. 
This video that reflects my latest findings and experiences with lion's mane mushroom extract and its connection to remyelination. I guess my journey embodies the constant ebb and flow within the field of MS research. And I'm committed to stay on top of it, on top of it all, to share my insights to foster a well-informed Steve Solves MS community. So let me talk a little background. Lion's Maze Mushrooms, known for its funny appearance, has garnered significant attention recently for potential neuroprotective effects. One of the most intriguing aspects of mind spending mushrooms is its ability to promote the maturation of oligodendrocytes, the cells responsible for myelin production in the CNS. Lion's mane contains bioactive compounds, primarily heracarins and aranacines, which have been identified as key players in neurogenesis and the modulation of myelin cells. Research has indicated that these compounds can stimulate the production of nerve growth factor, a protein essential for neurons' growth, survival, and maintenance. Increased levels of nerve growth factor have been correlated with enhanced oligodendrocyte maturation, which is vital for forming and maintaining this myelin sheath. Here's a little background my subscribers already know about. Oligodendrocytes arise from oligodendrocyte precursor cells, which differentiate into mature oligodendrocytes, a process that various growth factors, including nerve growth factors, can enhance. By stimulating the maturation of oligodendrocytes, lion's mane may contribute to the remyelination process in MS. One of the critical proteins associated with myelination is myelin basic protein, which is essential for structural integrity of the myelin sheath. Oligodendrocyte maturation leads to increased myelin basic protein production, indicating successful myelination. Studies have shown that the presence of lion mane mushroom extract correlates with increased levels of myelin basic protein in the central nervous system, suggesting that the extract directly influences the myelination process. In vitro studies prove lion mane influence on this. Cultures treated with lion mane mushroom extract demonstrate an increased expression of myelin basic protein and other myelin related proteins. I understood that extract's potential remyelination properties and it's well positioned as a neuroprotective juggernaut. The mechanism behind the neuroprotectiveness effect may stem from its antioxidant properties. Well, we all know oxidative stress is a serious detriment in MS and can impede the maturation of oligodendrocytes. Lion's mane extract's ability to mitigate oxidative damage could thus create a more favorable environment for the proliferation and differentiation of oligodendrocyte precursor cells into mature myelinating oligodendrocytes. <laughs> but there's even more. The anti-inflammatory properties of lion mane extract are noteworthy. Chronic inflammation is known to inhibit oligodendrocyte maturation and myelination. By reducing inflammatory cytokines in the CNS, lion mane facilitates a more conducive environment for developing oligodendrocytes and subsequent myelin basic protein expression. 
this dual action of providing neuroprotection while modulating the inflammatory responses enhances the extract's potential for remyelination. There isn't a big pool of Steve Saul's MS subscribers experiencing remyelination yet. I mean, if you guys are doing my essentials, you, you are, you are remyelinating, but you, but you really haven't started feeling it yet. But oh, don't just wait, you will. So as of now, all I can do is point to animal studies. These animal studies reinforce the findings observed in vitro. Experimental models of demyelination treated with lion's mane extract exhibited improved neurobehavioral outcomes and increased remyelination. These studies often reported enhanced oligodendrocyte presence and activation in treated groups, reinforcing the link between lion's mane consumption oligodendrocyte maturation and elevated myelin basic protein levels. The historic use of lion's mane mushroom in traditional medicine as a cognitive enhancer and neuroprotective agent aligns with contemporary scientific findings. I'll be honest with you, I keep reading about these ongoing research studies that continue to uncover the intricacies of how lion's mane mushroom extract affects oligodendrocyte maturation and myelination. There is a growing interest in its potential applications. You know what, I'll be honest, it's a good thing you guys didn't let me take down the first video. I did that about a year ago and then within I think a month, not even a month, a week, you guys started playing, you started messaging me. The promises of enhancing remyelination through such natural products underscores very real a potential of lion mane ability for remyelination. Its unique composition of bioactive compounds and its neuroprotective antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties highlight its potential as a remyelination agent in MS. Future research I know will undoubtedly deepen this understanding. As we navigate this ever evolving landscape together, I'm eager to hear from what you guys and others about what your experience have been. Well, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss a video. Until the next one. Thank <laughs> you.